I'm going to show you how to make some interesting byte beat gestures by replacing constants with ramps. So if you've seen any byte beat at all, you'll know that if we have just T by itself, it's a uh, wrapped around into a nice sawtooth wave. And if we multiply it by different numbers, it just changes the slope of that ramp. It makes it higher. We hear that as higher in pitch. If we divide it by numbers, it gets lower and lower in pitch, so slow that really it's something below audio. We can't hear it except for that one little click there. So if we can't hear it, what can it be good for? Well, when we have something we can hear like this, and let's just go ahead and encapsulate it like we've done in other videos. So I'll force it to wrap to 256 myself. Now I can divide it by different numbers to make it quieter. Now that I've wrapped it, dividing makes it softer instead of lower in pitch. And I can do what we were talking about. The subject of this video is replacing constants, like here's a constant, there's a constant, any number that's not a variable is a constant, and I can replace that with a ramp. So what if I replace this number with, let's see, I'll put it in parentheses, and well, if I replace it by T by itself, that's probably changing too fast, so I'll slow it down, give it a nicer, slower slope. And we only hear it when I restart the clock, but it's at the beginning, it's loud because T divided by 1000 is going to be a very low number. So I'm dividing it by a low number. So the result will be very big and gradually gets bigger to be bigger and bigger numbers. Here, let's hear it again. So it starts loud and it fades out. Now, how can I get it to repeat? Well, this is just going to, T is just going to keep going on and on. Even if it's slowed down by this, it's going to get higher and higher. And really, we're not going to expect to hear much of anything after it reaches 256. So what if I wrap this up again in parentheses and I force this to be a number between 0 and 256? Oh, it's going a little slow for me. Let me perk up its ramp a little bit, change the slope so it's a little higher. There we hear it. If I do this, there's one. There it is. So we have a nice pulse. So what I've done is, I had one number that could control the loudness, and instead I've replaced it with this ramp and I applied a modulo to keep it within a safe range. So let me do it again. Here's a constant, let me mess with it. So let's see, instead of just leaving it at a constant four or changing it manually to different pitches, there we go. I'll stick T in there and I'll give it a slower ramp and let me keep it so that it's still wrapping around to values up to four. Okay, now can you hear the pitch changing? I'll start it over and it'll start low. So now I've got it fading in and out over time regularly. I've got the pitch changing over time. Okay, and so with this, now I can do a uh, brief musical excerpt here. I'll let it start just as it was doing. It had a nice rise, like it could be an introduction to something. And then I'm going to start playing with the orders of magnitude here just by adding zeros and removing them. It lets me kind of skip forward and backward in time as far as uh, this ramp goes.
Yeah!